Hey guys, what is up? Dave here. You might know me from the history of 1320 Challenge, 1320 Legends, Racing Rivals, some YouTube techie stuff, or some other stuff. I want to thank Jerry for giving me the idea to make this video and pushing me to edit it myself. So, let's get right into it. The evolution of the Nitto Drag Racing game series is a fascinating journey that all began back in 1999 with a modest venture by Choice Enterprise. The inaugural game, 555R Challenge, marked the inception of online multiplayer drag racing on PC. Developed in the personal spaces of dedicated team members, this game laid the foundation for what would eventually blossom into one of the most successful, independently developed racing game franchises. As Choice Enterprise transformed into CIE Studios, the sequel to 555R Challenge emerged in 2001. This transition marked their entry into the mainstream gaming realm, capturing the enthusiasm of the 555R community. Shortly thereafter, Nitto 1320 Challenge, fondly known as V1, was introduced. This groundbreaking game featured a distinct live chat room, team racing capabilities, a player-driven used car lot, and exhilarating pink slip racing, where stakes were high and the winner claimed the loser's car. 1320 Challenge also introduced the first time CIE was actually aiming to turn a profit. With 1320 Challenge, they introduced memberships and premium vehicles. These are very similar to the in-app purchases we know of today, except back then we did it through their website. Included in the memberships for a short time were t-shirts, which have turned highly collectible to this day. The premium vehicles consisted of a Formula One style car, a NASCAR stock car, a Nitto top fuel dragster, and a funny car. I reached out to Brian Gutierrez, also known as VGU Sesco or Explosion, to identify some of the most notable aspects of 1320 Challenge. He highlighted the enduring appeal of team racing and distinctive presence of staff members in chat rooms, a rare experience in contemporary gaming. The 1320 series stands out for its unique engagement where players could interact with administrators and developers fostering a sense of camaraderie rarely found in today's gaming landscape. Team racing was a standout feature, with teams managing their own banks, members collectively deposited funds, and team leaders strategically used the pooled capital for competitive races against other teams. In an era where direct interactions with game developers is scarce, the 1320 series created a dynamic environment that not only celebrated these engagements, but made them an integral part of the gaming experience. During the later stages of 1320 Challenge, CIE orchestrated a substantial online tournament generously funded and sponsored by Mopar. Remarkable prizes were bestowed upon the participants, including a Mopar branded jacket for weekly class winners, an iPod mini with $50 worth of iTunes music for the tournament class winners, and the coveted Pioneer DEH P8 MP head unit awarded to the Drivers Club winner the individual who emerged above the entire competition over seven weeks. Notably, this tournament served as a foundational public beta test laying the groundwork for the sequel to 1320 Challenge. Shortly after the Mopar tourney came to a close, 1320 Challenge started to get hit hard by cheaters and exploiters. Several members of the community weren't happy with how staff were treating the game overall and took actions into their own hands. These players cracked open the game files, found out how to modify them, compiled them back together, and created some of the most infamous custom game clients we remember to this day. These clients were 1320 Apocalypse, 1320 Revolution, 1320 Prostitution. These game clients allowed you to type in your ET, RT, and trap speed, simply click a button, and you were done with the race. You didn't even have to race. These clients also allowed you to automate money-making methods. On top of that, some private features that never went public went as far as exploiting the moderation tools and banning every single person on the game, including administration. A bit of time after all this exploitation started, a pop-up came up on the 1320 Challenge website. It was a sad day for many that loved 1320 Challenge, who had poured hours, days, weeks, months, or even years of time into it. This was around 2006. 1320 Challenge was coming to an end. The sequel was actively being worked on. The speculation about V2 was becoming reality. Nitto 1320 Legends was the name of the new game. The game was created with Adobe Director. A little known fact about this as well is it was created in a very similar fashion to 555R Challenge. The initial beta was actually created by one person who was absolutely hellbent on making something that cheaters of Challenge couldn't immediately break. 
The new game was a beautifully pre-rendered 2.5D game with more customization of cars and a stronger community aspect. The developers at CIE combined the live chat with race rooms and introduced true live racing. 1320 Legends was a quick hit, much like 1320 Challenge, but this is definitely long enough and I suppose can be a tale for another video. By the way, I want to give a shout out to someone really special through this write-up. I had a major help with it from a 1320 Challenge guru named Kennard, aka Steve. Without him, this write-up wouldn't be as detailed as it is. He wrote up something very similar years ago, which I kind of used as a structural help to getting my thoughts and everything together. Thanks for being an awesome friend all these years. But 1320 Challenge, as it sits now, is playable. It has been an adventure that I personally promised many people I would bring back for many years. It's been over 10 years since my other friend James G hit me up with some random Fiverr PHP files years ago. 10 years later, here we are with Brett, the community administrator, Espionage, the server developer, Mitch and I, the game client modders. Also 1,500 Discord community members, all playing 1320 Challenge in 2023. Thank you guys for watching this video. This was a lot of fun to make, and I really need to give a shout out again to Jerry Rager, aka Racing Game Slovenia, who put me up to the task of editing this video myself, just giving me a couple pointers, and telling me, hey, you can freaking do it. Stop thinking so negatively about yourself. So you can thank him for me actually sitting down and editing a video. But I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the history of 1320 Challenge. If you would like a video like this for 1320 Legends, let me know. And I'll see if I can write it up. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.